Hi guys, this is Raul from Simply Learn and today we're going to talk about 10 programming languages that you should look out for in 2019. Now without further ado, let's get to number 10, PHP. Now PHP was created in 1990 by this person called Rasmus Lerdoff and is a language that works with a wide number of operating systems like Unix, Windows, Linux and so on. So regardless of your operating system, PHP has you covered. So PHP was created keeping in mind that it should be an efficient way for database management and it reduces web development time. And finally, PHP has a very supportive and dedicated user community where you can connect with in case you have some trouble with the language. Now let's talk about some of the features of PHP. Now PHP is an interpreted language. So most programming languages require each line of code being converted to machine code in the compilation process. That's not required at PHP, which makes it naturally faster. Then it provides real-time access monitoring and is faster than other scripting languages like ASP and JSP. Now one very unique feature of PHP is that it's both a general purpose programming language as well as it's a scripting language for server-side scripting. And finally, all keywords, classes, functions and user functions are not case sensitive in PHP. Which means when a function is being called in your code, regardless of whether the function's name is in uppercase or lowercase, it'll mean the same thing. However, it's not the same thing when it comes to variables. They are case sensitive. Now let's look at some of the applications of PHP. So PHP has found widespread usage among several websites. As is clearly seen, 82% of all websites on the internet use PHP for server-side programming. It also supports multiple databases like MySQL, Rackle, and a number of protocols like LDAP and POP3. It helps your data to be processed in a graphical form, for example, charts and graphs, with the help of tools like Image Graph. And now let's go to number 9, Ruby. Now, Ruby was created in the mid 1990s by Yukihiro Matsumoto. Ruby is also the basic groundwork for other frameworks like Ruby on Rails, which is a web application framework. So the creators of Ruby also made sure that the language is expressive and easy to understand. And finally, users are provided more than 60,000 libraries and multiple frameworks for them to use. Now let's talk about some of Ruby's features. Ruby is a free format language. You can start writing code from any line or column, basically from anywhere you see on the terminal. Next, it's case sensitive, which means something that's written in lowercase is completely different from something that's written in uppercase. It is a dynamic programming language, which means most of the type checking and all that takes place during runtime. And there are a set of reserved keywords that cannot be used for anything else other than what they were created for. They have a specific purpose and cannot be used for anything else. Now let's talk about some of the applications of Ruby. Firstly, it's used for server-side scripting and configuration management. It's also used as a framework where there are servers and they need to convert their domain names to IP addresses. It's also used in embedded systems, in mending machines, industrial robots and network routers. And finally, it is also used for creating native applications for the iOS and the Android operating systems. And now, let's have a look at number 8, Scala. Now, Scala was created in the early 2000s by Martin Odersky. Now, Scala supports both object-oriented and functional programming. With object-oriented, the main emphasis is on objects, which is a combination of data and the functionality that's acting on the data. With functional programming, like the name suggests, the main emphasis is on the functions rather than the data. You can do both with Scala. Now, Scala was designed to solve the problems that were faced by Java. For example, one common complaint is that Java is very verbose or has a lot of lines of code. If a particular program required 20 lines of code to complete in Java, Scala would be able to do it in much lesser but a slightly more complicated version of the same lines of code. Users also have access to the features of the Java Virtual Machine and several Java libraries. Now let's have a look at some of the features provided by Scala. Firstly, it's a statically typed language, which means that once you set a type for a variable, you can't change it again. It can be compiled into Java bytecode and executed in the Java virtual machine. As it requires fewer lines of code, it helps speed up development, testing and deploying your application. And finally, it has a steeper learning curve than other programming languages, which means it's slightly more complex and requires slightly more effort to understand. Now let's talk about some of the applications of Scala. It is used extensively in Apache Spark, which means it's used for data analysis and other machine learning algorithms. It is used to create web applications and services and helps improve runtime stability, performance and the overall developer productivity. Now let's have a look at number 7, R. 
R was created in 1992 by Ross Ihaka and Robert Gentleman. So R is an open source programming language which means that you can access the source code and perform any modifications you require on the language. It provides an environment for implementing statistical techniques. R is a commonly used language when it comes to mathematical applications and it can be compiled on a wide range of operating systems be it Unix, Windows or Mac OS. Now let's talk about some of its features. R has a wide range of tools that can be used for data analysis, which is one of the more common use cases of R. R supports object-oriented programming as well as procedure-oriented programming, which means depending on your situation, you can use either. It provides data handling and storage facilities and is an interpreted language just like PHP as mentioned before and can be accessed through a CLI or a command line interpreter. Now let's talk about some of the applications of R. First, it can be used for statistical computing and graphics. You can make plots or graphs or charts with mathematical symbols and formulae. It can be used for data importing and cleaning, for sales forecasting, sentiment analysis, cancer detection and so on. Now let's have a look at number 6, the programming language Go. Go was created in 2007 at Google. Go reportedly works faster than most programming languages in the market right now. It has a strong standard library which provides a wide range of options for its users and created by developers who have a shared dislike for C++, mainly because they felt that C isn't fast enough and needs to be faster. Now let's talk about some of the features of Go. Now Go has built-in systems which make sure that testing is made a whole lot easier. They have inbuilt testing support. With this it aims to improve programming productivity. So it also provides easier memory management as compared to other programming languages like C and C++. And finally, the code in Go is compiled into machine code, which makes it much faster to execute as compared to other programming languages. Now let's talk about some of the applications of Go. Firstly, it's used in distributed applications that require a large amount of processing power. It is also used to create applications that can be used to scrape data from websites. It enables creating websites that can offer both static as well as dynamic content. And finally, it enables easy modification, debugging and testing of microservices. Now let's have a look at number 5, Swift. Swift was created by Apple in the year 2010 and has code that closely resembles English and is easily readable for users. Now one main advantage that Swift offers to users is that it provides a special area where new applications can be tested without having to actually create a new application. And it is also open source which enables it to be constantly updated and improved. Now let's talk about some of the features offered by Swift. Now as you write code in Swift, it's being fixed. So in case there are issues, you're getting them fixed as you write the code. This reduces the amount of time and money required to fix the error. It enables users to develop apps which have a mixed code base, which means there's a combination of different codes of different languages. It uses high performance compilers, which is used to convert the Swift code into its native form. And finally, it provides a clean and expressive language with simple syntax. Now let's talk about some of the applications made possible with Swift. You can develop applications for iOS, macOS, tvOS and watchOS, basically for Apple. It is used in online compilers and websites and is used to create web frameworks for websites and applications. Now let's have a look at number 4, Java. Java was created on May 23rd, 1995. Now it is one of the most commonly learned and used languages in the world. More than 3 billion mobile phones in the world use Java for its proper functioning. And Java was created with the aim of being platform independent, which means regardless of the system that you're using, Java will work in it. Now let's talk about some of the features that Java offers. Now Java is very similar to C and C++, but also is quite different. In a way, it removes all the complexities and drawbacks that C++ and C have. For example, Java doesn't have pointers. Java also utilizes all the features of object-oriented programming like abstraction, encapsulation and so on. The security systems in Java are built into the language and runtime systems. And finally, the code in Java is converted into bytecode and allows it to be run in any other system as long as that system has Java in it. And now let's talk about some of the applications made possible with Java. Now applications for Android phones are made possible with JDK or the Java Development Kit. SIM cards, utility meters, televisions also use embedded Java technologies within them. It is used for web applications with the help of servlets, struts and JSPs and is used for writing applications that involve mathematics or complex scientific calculations. And now let's have a look at number 3, 
C Sharp. C Sharp was created in 2000 by Microsoft is the fourth most popular programming language among users. Now it follows the principles of object-oriented programming and enables fast development and has a large number of inbuilt functions that users can take advantage of. Now let's have a look at some of the features offered by C Sharp. Now C Sharp works with a structured approach which means that the problem is divided into each part and then solved. Now as long as you know how to work with C++, C Sharp should be very easy. You can do the same things possible with a C++ application. It provides automatic scaling and updates and derives most of its principles from C++ and Java. Now let's have a look at some of the applications made possible with C Sharp. Now it is used along with applications like ASP for web development, it is used in the Unity game development engine and is used for developing Windows desktop applications. And now for number 2, JavaScript. JavaScript was created on December 4th, 1995 and provides users with the option to select both functional or object-oriented programming methodologies. So depending on the user's requirement, they can choose either. It provides both server-side as well as front-end coding. And as long as you know JavaScript, you can handle any layer of a web application. Now let's talk about some of the features of JavaScript. It's a simple language that users can learn and implement with great ease. It provides a rich and detailed interface for websites. It can also be used in combination with other programming languages like Perl and PHP and enables websites to provide increased functionality. Now let's talk about some of the applications of JavaScript. This allows users to create web pages and applications. It is used to create small scale games and applications as well. It enables users to add text boxes and other components to websites on the go. And finally, we are at number one. It shouldn't be any surprise because it's Python. Python was created in December 1989 and has easier syntax as compared to other programming languages like Java. It has a very dedicated and supportive community that can ease any of your problems and it's designed with the perspective of the developer, which means the initiative is developer first. Now let's talk about some of its features. It's very easy to understand, simple and minimalistic. Now it supports procedure-oriented programming as well as object-oriented programming. It also provides scripting capabilities when embedded with other programming languages like C or C++. With the help of dynamic programming offered by Python, executions are also made a whole lot easier. Now let's have a look at some Python applications. It is used for scientific as well as numeric computing, for example with the help of libraries like SciPy, Pandas and so on. It is used for image processing and graphic design applications. It plays a very important role in Linux distributions and is used for creating web applications and frameworks. And with that, we've reached the end of another video. I hope you guys found this informative and helpful. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.